Okay, this is just going to be a very quick uh, video to show you uh, how to do the um, plotting, the plotting points uh, homework, the coordinates homework that was sent home. Okay, so uh, question A says write the point that is located at each ordered pair. Well, uh, as you should remember from when we uh, looked at it, uh, an ordered pair are basically these. They are the coordinates. Okay, and you should remember that the first number is always the x-axis and the second number is always the y-axis. I'm not going to go through that because there is another video that you've already watched or you should have watched which uh, you can play again. Okay, so um, let's, looking, let's look at uh, number one here, 8, 7. Looking at this one here, 8, 7. And as I said, the 8 is uh, the x-axis and the 7 is going to be the y-axis. Okay, so um, in number one, we need to just go along eight, go along this way to eight, and then we go up seven. Okay, so we go up here to seven, and that gets us to the letter C. Okay, and then you just write the letter C. Number two, you go along ten. Okay, then go along ten, and then up four gets us to letter F. Okay, so you just write F. Okay? All right. Uh, now looking at B, uh, write the ordered pair for each point. So you've got, uh, you've got, uh, I'm not sure whether that's an I, capital I or, uh, uh, okay, I think it's a capital I. Anyway, uh, that would be here. So the letter I is there, so that means that it's one over and one up. So it's going to be one, one. Okay. Number eight is the letter V. Okay, so find the letter V, which is over here. All right. And I'm just going to change colors. It's getting a bit confusing. So we start here. We count over, count over, count over, count over to here. And then we go up to here. And we can see that it is 9, 10. Okay, so we write 9, 10. Remember, the x-axis number always comes first. Okay, all right, let's go on to the next. All right, in this one, it says uh, plot each point on the coordinate grid. Okay, well, this is your coordinate grid. The x-axis here, y-axis here, it goes from 0 to 10 and 0 to 10. All right, this is the number 7, just in case it throws you off. And it says plot each point, which that means put a dot uh, on, the, uh, on the grid here, on the coordinate grid, uh, that is identified by these numbers. So there's 1, and there's 5. This is the x-axis number. This is the y-axis number. And when we draw that point in, we have to label it T. Okay, so... Get our pen started, and we go, so number 13 is 1, 5. So we go along 1, and then up 5. Okay, so there's our point there, and we label it T. Okay. Uh, number 14 uh, is 10 on the x-axis and 1 on the y-axis. So again, Count along 10, 10, and then up 1, there we go, and we have to label that S. Okay, and you just do the same thing for the rest of these. D says draw each shape on the coordinate grid. Okay, so draw a zero, or a, not a zero, sorry, draw a, a circle at 9, 5. Okay, so all you do is turn on your pen and get a different color. Okay, and we find 9, 5. Okay, so there's, here's, drawing along here. Come on. Go to 9, and then up 5. There, and we have to draw a circle 
there we go, a circle. Okay, and you draw a star at three four, and draw a rectangle at five zero. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, let's go. Okay. Now this one is a little bit harder because instead of just one coordinate, one one grid here, you actually have four. You've got the basic. This is the original one here, where all the numbers are positive, and then you have uh, another coordinate. Uh, you have a, another quadrant here, another quadrant here, and another quadrant here. So, in a full uh, picture, you have four quadrants. Okay, and this is one, two, three, four. Okay, I'll just number that for you again. One, two, three, four. So there are four quadrants, and it's this is what it looks like. Okay, so and next thing we have to do is a write the point that is located at each ordered pair. Well, again, the ordered pair is just these but only this time you might get some negative numbers. Okay, so it, even though the numbers are negative, don't forget the rule. The first digit is always somewhere on the x-axis. Okay, and the second number is somewhere on the y-axis. The only difference is now you've got positive numbers and you've got negative numbers. Okay, so here's how we do it. Uh, let's look at one. Uh, negative 1 and negative 4. So negative 1 is the x-axis and negative 4 is the y-axis. So start here, we go over negative 1, and now we go down to negative 4. Okay, there. And that looks to be the letter J. Okay, uh, question number 2, negative 3. Okay, there's negative 3. Change my color again. Negative 3 is there. Okay, and we go 3. So 3 is positive, so that means we have to go up this way. 1, 2, 3. So there you go. And that is Q. Okay, and you just fill in the rest just like I've done here. Okay. B says write the ordered pair for each point. Well, you're just doing the same thing you did here, just in reverse. It gives you the letter L. Where's the letter L? Letter L. The letter L is here. Okay, so it's going to be... Remember, the x-axis always comes first. So the uh, first number is going to be 1. Okay, but is it 1 or negative 1? It's negative 1. Okay, and negative 2. So for L, you're going to write negative 1. 1 and negative 2. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, 8, uh, K. Let's find the letter K. Okay, there's K there. Okay, so again we go along here. That's 4. Okay, so we know the X number is 4. And then we go up, 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 up to 4. So we know that the Y is 4 as well. Okay, so we are going to write 4, 4. Okay, and that's how you do that one. Okay, let's go to the next. Right, uh, this one says, write the point that is located at each ordered pair. Well, uh, let's uh, look at number 1. Uh, number 1 is negative 1, negative 4. All right, well, negative 1 is here, negative 4, down here, it's going to be J again. Okay, uh, let's do this one over here. Uh, 5, 0, and negative 5. Well, 0 is right where the lines cross, it's right there. Okay, so 0 on the x-axis is there, and then negative 5 is down here, so it's going to be V. Okay, and now we're going on to B. Write the ordered pair for each point. Okay, so L. Where's L here? Uh, we'll pick a different one because I've kind of drawn over L. Uh, let's do T. 
Okay, so there's t. So again, we start at the zero. We go along the x-axis to two. Okay, there's two. Now we go down to where the letter t is along the y-axis, and it's going to be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Okay, so the ordered pair or the coordinates are two, negative five. 2, negative 5. Okay. And let's go on to the next one. Okay, this question says plot each point on the coordinate grid. Okay, so uh, let's do uh, 13 and... Uh, let's do 13 and 16. So 13 is negative 5, negative 3. Okay. So negative 5, negative 5, negative 3. So it means we go down, 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 down to there. Okay? So that's about h. Okay? And now 16, negative 4, negative 4, and 2. 2. There we go. And that is the letter P. Okay, that's that one. Now D, it says draw each shape on the coordinate grid. Okay, so all they want you to do is draw a circle at negative 1, negative 4. Draw a triangle at negative 2, neg at negative 2, 5. And draw a star at 5, negative 5. Okay. Now, at this point in year four, all I want you to do, all you need to do, is to be able to draw those shapes at those ordered pairs or coordinates. Okay, so I'll do, uh, I'll do number uh, 20 for you. And uh, number 20 says draw a triangle at uh, negative two. I'm going to change my color here because... Okay, negative 2 and 5. 5, okay, and I have to draw a triangle. Okay, like that. Okay, now later on, uh, we are going to start making shapes with our coordinates. Okay, so for example, like you, we did in the video that you all saw earlier, uh, we put some points together and say, you know, that makes a square, okay, um, and so on. But this, it, for this particular piece of work, all you have to do is just draw those shapes, those shapes there at these ordered pairs. That's it. Okay, nothing more complicated than that. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.